what's going on guys? I'm Jason with Upshift and Adventures. I just got done installing a set of uh, Denali lights on the GS Adventure here and uh, they, I gotta tell you, they are super, super awesome. Super bright. They're fully, uh, fully programmable, which I, I really dig. Um, unfortunately, even though I've got them all hooked up and uh, everything works, I did forget to order the bracket to mount the fog lights here to the factory crash bar locations. So um, I can't I can't drive the bike just yet, but I want to make a quick video basically on the programming of these lights. Um, so what I have is I have a set of D7 drive lights up front, and these, these bad boys are monsters, I'll tell you what. And then I've got a set of the D3 fog lights with amber lenses that are going to go in the factory crash bar um, you know, spotlight mounting position for the BMW. And then in the back I've got a set of the B3 uh, uh, brake lights slash uh, blinkers. In order to put this all together, I did have to take the bike completely apart. I had the gas tank off. Uh, I basically stripped it down uh, almost to the frame because I wanted to get the wiring nice and clean and, and not have it showing. But other than the, the pain of taking everything apart, putting everything back on, and you know how plastic snaps together or stuff like that, it always goes, it comes apart great. It doesn't go together that much or that well. But uh, other than that part, the programming and the wiring of these lights was awesome. I mean, it was so easy. I just followed the instructions that they provide with you and uh, it went really well. Now, if you're using the CAN Smart controller to control your lights, it comes pre-programmed uh, to use on two circuits is two sets of lights. Then you have a circuit for the, the sound bomb horn and the circuit for your brake lights, as you can see here. Now the lights are fully controllable as far as the intensity uh, for both day and night driving. For both sets of lights you can switch up to 100% or down to 10% of your brightness level for both day and night. Uh, as well as your brake lights as you can see here in the back they do the same thing for that as well. What I chose to do was run an alternate wiring method whereas I have the left side of the bike controlled on one circuit and the right side controlled on the other. You can see here I selected left light one. So what that does is it controls both my D7 drive light and my D3 fog light on the left side. And then I also switched the right side as well. You can see here that I disabled the blue circuit because I didn't need it. I had my wires hooked up to the red and the yellow circuit. Here I'm changing the yellow circuit to uh, affect the right side lights, okay? And what that does is it allows me to, when I turn my blinkers on, whichever side, the lights will turn off so that people oncoming can see my blinker because these lights are so bright they might not. Uh, you do have to switch or you do have to select your fuse amperage in order for the lights to work. And you can see here that I'm uh, messing with the high beam intensity for both day and night and the low beam intensity for both day and night. It's really a very um, adjustable and programmable setup. Um, and it's also very easy to install. I did have to take the, the bike apart completely because I wanted to, uh, you know, basically make sure that the wiring was very clean and all that. All right, so that's really all there is to programming the Denali lights using the CAN Smart Controller. It's a really easy process. Uh, I found it simple to use um, and very straightforward. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop a comment in the comments section. If you like the video, please smash that like button. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Keeps me keeps me in business making these videos. So, hey, have a great day. And I uh, hope to see everybody out on the road at some point.